Hey guys, welcome back to the Cowboy Slot Channel. And in today's video, we have something very, very cool and special to share with you. If you're a fan of Top Dollar, you're gonna wanna stick around for this video because today, Mark is gonna be walking us through a lot of really great information about Top Dollar. He's gonna be answering some of the most commonly asked questions about the game, as well as showing you deeper inside of it, including how the system determines what is the best play and what is try again. He's also gonna go over data from the manufacturer that actually shows the bonus frequency of the game. So the next time you're in the casino, you can actually look at the different models of top dollar and determine which game is gonna have the higher frequency bonuses. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when we come out with future videos. We're always coming out with great videos, diving deeper into slot machines. And of course, it's always free. So let's take a deeper dive into top dollar. All right, today, guys, we're going to talk all about Top Dollar, one of IGT's most famous slot machine themes of all time. This machine first started in the S Plus platform. That is back in the days of coins, and they are still making new versions today. In fact, they just came out a couple months ago with one in a new cabinet called a Diamond RS cabinet, and you can find these in certain uh, locations, um, and you'll start to see it more and more later on this year. Anyway, what is Top Dollar? How does it play, and what is the kind of the secrets on how to kind of better your chances? I'm going to go through all that in this video today, and plus we're going to take a behind-the-scenes look of how this actually works, and I'll even show you how to what the different combinations are potentially up here in the top box. All right, guys, strap in. I'm going to teach you everything you ever wanted to know about Top Dollar, so let's get started. All right, guys, so before we start getting into like all the questions and the deep dive into Top Dollar, let's talk about what it actually is. So Top Dollar is a bonus-style game, and what that means is when you get the Top Dollar symbol on that last reel, you initiate the bonus round. And I'm going to splice in a bonus round here so you can see what I'm talking about as I talk about it. So what happens is the credit offers up here, it will randomly pick a set of offers for you. This is like deal or no deal that you've seen on TV. And you basically do a try again or take offer. So you get to decide whether you want to be greedy and try for another offer or you want to take the offer and pocket that cash. Now, it only gives you four offers. So once you reach that fourth offer, you are done. You have to take whatever that offer is. And so it's a fun bonus round. I think it's very exciting because you never know what's going to happen up here in the top box. And for that reason alone, it's probably my hands down favorite game to play. And I'm not the only one. A lot of people love top dollar because you do get some kind of choice and you never know what's going to happen up here. Right, guys, I've seen some crazy wins. So anyway, let's get into more of the questions and we'll start that now. All right. Some common questions that I get about top dollar is when you're in the bonus round, can you get all of these to light up? And the answer is no. The most it will light up is four bills. So once it reaches four bills, it will not add any more to that. The exception on double top dollar is that you can get four bills down here and you can get the times two and the other times two. So you can get a total of six things to light up, but only four bills down here. And the next question that I get asked is, can this thousand credits combine with anything else down here? The answer to that is no. The thousand credits lights up on its own. And if you're really lucky on a double top dollar, you'll get both the times two and times two for a 4,000 credit win. I've only seen this a couple of times on YouTube. It's a very rare hit, but it can definitely happen. Okay, next one is about the credit offers that it gives you. And is there any strategy to waiting till the last one or always taking the first offer? Or I've heard rumors that the third offer is always the best one. Guys, that is all false. Every single one of the offers that it gives you is a random event. Now they are heavily weighted to the lower amounts. If you've played any kind of top dollar or any slot machine bonus, you know that you typically get low amounts often. And then every now and then you get that nice win. But top dollar plays exactly the same way. It doesn't punish you by giving up a good offer and giving you the dreaded five credits or 10 credits on that last offer. It may seem like it's doing that on purpose, but it's not. Every single offer is completely separate. And if you wanna see an experiment of this, I actually did a video and I'll link it somewhere up here in a card where I played through 75 rounds of bonuses on top dollar and came out at the end, everything was within two credits of each other on each of the different four offers. So that is proof positive that every offer is exactly a different RNG stop, meaning that every offer is completely separate. It has no history of what's coming. It doesn't know what you passed up, that type of thing. So just treat every single offer as a separate event. Okay, another question I got is, what happens if the thousand credits lights up and you click try again? Well, 
on regular top dollar, once that thousand credits lights up, the game will stop. And on the older versions like this, it'll actually do a little song and dance kind of celebration mode, which is really cool to see. And so you don't have to worry about it if you hit that top 1,000 credits on a regular top dollar. It's going to automatically accept it to you because you can't do any better. Now, on double top dollar, the only time that will happen is if you light up 1,000 times 2 times 2. So be very, very careful on double top dollar if you hit that 1,000 credits or even 1,000 times 2 that you're pushing the right button. <laughs> you know, make sure, look at it, make sure you're looking at the right button before you press it because uh, you just don't want to pass something like that up because it's a very hard, hard one to hit. And I have a video way back in my library that shows me passing up a thousand times two and I got 15 credits on the last offer. So <laughs> don't do it. If you see it, make sure you watch and you know, you can get kind of excited because this is the button that most people press, right? When they're playing top dollar, they press the try again because it's just kind of habit, right? Because you know, the offers are generally pretty crappy, but <laughs> if you get that big offer, please make sure you get that take offer. I don't, I don't want to see you get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get on to the next question. All right, so the next question is about the advice that the machine gives. So down here in the area down here and also up here, depending on the type of top dollar you're playing, it will actually give you advice whether to try again or take the offer. And a lot of people ask, what is the formula for that? How does it know to tell me to try again? Is it lying to me? No, it's actually a very fixed formula and it largely depends on the type of top dollar game that you're playing. So double top dollar, the formula is if the first offer is 50 credits or less, it's going to tell you to try again. If the second offer is 45 credits or less, it's going to tell you to try again. And then if the third offer is 35 credits or less, it's going to tell you to try again. It's a fixed formula. It's like that for every single bonus round. It doesn't know what's coming next and it doesn't like it's not convoluted and complicated. It's a very simple formula. But again, every single version of top dollar, that is a little bit different. On the newer versions of top dollars, if you go into the touchscreen game rules and you look at the game rules, it will actually tell you what that formula is. So that's just a little bit of advice. You can kind of see what to do. Should you take the advice? It really depends on how new you are to top dollar. I think most people that have played top dollar enough kind of get that feeling of whether they should try again or not. But if you're brand new to top dollar, I recommend always taking the advice that it gives you um, because it's generally pretty good advice. Guys, now let's talk about all the different versions of top dollar and there are a lot. And I'm just going to throw in a bunch of pictures here so you can kind of see all the different ones that came out. Starting from the original S plus version, this was the one with the coins. You had your triple top dollar, you have top dollar deluxe, you have top dollar single line, five line, you have double top dollar, you've got video top dollar, you've got top dollar premium. Gosh, there's just so many and I'm not going to list them all because I, I keep finding more. Um, but top dollar is all over the place and they've tried many different variations of it. And so go out there and try to find them. Uh, some of them still exist, even the older ones. Uh, they're still a lot of fun to play. But anyway, next we're going to take a look at something that you probably haven't seen before, and that is the actual bonus frequency and average bonus amount for each of the different versions of top dollar, at least the ones that I've been able to find. So let's go ahead and jump right into that, and you can see some of this uh, inside information directly from Barcrest, who is the manufacturer and original creator of top dollar. Take a look at this first one, and this is the top dollar S2003 reel. So this is the original top dollar. This is not double top dollar or anything like that. It came in three different versions, two, three, and five credit bets. So the two and three credit are the single pay line, and then the five credit one is the five pay line one. So let's take a look at the bonus frequency. Again, these are averages. You, they're not guaranteed or anything like that, but you get a kind of an idea of how uh, frequently that bonus symbol comes up. So for the two and three credit max bet, you're looking at one and 48 uh, for getting that bonus round, and then the average pay is 48 credits in the top bonus area. And for the five line credit max bet, uh, that is the, the five line version, uh, the five credit is one in 42 and the average pay is 77, so a little bit higher. All right, let's take a look at double top dollar. This is another one of everybody's favorite and the one that I'm showing off in this video. Came in two different versions, two and three credit max bets, and the bonus frequency is one in 41, so a little bit better than regular top dollar. And the average pay is 52, which is also a little bit better than regular top dollar. But this one is definitely more volatile. It's harder to get good offers in the bonus. Even though the potential is there, most of the bonus rounds are pretty low, 25, 15 credits, et cetera, but you might get that bigger win. And the other thing to keep in mind from this is that the two and three credit max bets, there is no difference between how the bonus round plays out depending on which version you're playing. 
So try to find that two credit uh, max bet top dollar if you can, uh, because you get the same bonus round experience that you would betting that extra credit. Here's another one. This is the five reel nine line version. So this one is extremely volatile, meaning it's very hard to get the bonus on. The bonus frequency is one in 60, as you see here, and the average pay is 170 credits times your line bet. So this one plays out a little bit differently, but it is very hard to get the bonus. Not one that I would typically recommend you play. All right, and here's a video version of Top Dollar that didn't last very long. I remember seeing this one in New York, New York and Las Vegas for a while. Um, but this was a actual video, uh, video reel type Top Dollar. And this one had a very unique feature where you could actually get two bonus rounds in a single spin based on the number of lines that the Top Dollar symbol showed up in. So this one, uh, bonus frequency was 1 in 53, and the average pay was 330 times your line bet. But you were betting more credits at the time, so it kind of evens out. But still, it wasn't one that I would ever recommend playing, and you're probably not going to find it anymore anyway. So that was a quick look at some of the different versions of Top Dollar, their average bonus frequency, and their average pay amount in the bonus round. So I hope you found that useful. Let's move on into the insides of Double Top Dollar. All right, this is for you nerds out there. Have you ever wondered what it looks like behind the Top Dollar glass? Well, here you go. And before I blind you with the lights, let me just show you that it's basically a little LED board with different sections for each of the credit amounts. And that's all it is. They're little tiny LEDs that are just positioned in the back. So let me close the door and blind everybody because it is certainly bright. So there we go. So that's what it looks like. Again, this is the thousand bill, uh, the five, the 20, et cetera. And these were the times two lights up down here. So this is what it looks like behind the glass. Kind of cool, a little retro look. If you don't want to play with the glass, I guess you could do that. <laughs> I've memorized where all the bills are, so I know that now. But anyway, uh, that's what it looks like inside. So let's keep on going. So it's a little more inside information into top dollar. All right, so another people ask me is, what are the different offer amounts that it can give you? What are the different combinations? Well, I can actually scroll through these here. This is something that you've probably never seen before. So look, I can get it to light up the thousand times two times two, but boy, I wish I could do that in person. Anyway. As I go down, you can see the different types of combinations. So 1,000 times 2, there's a bunch of them for 1,000. And then this is what it jumps to. So below the 1,000, you get the 20, 50, 50, 100 uh, times 2 times 2, which is 880 credits. So to answer your question about double top dollar, it goes from 880, and it jumps to the 1,000 after that. So those, this is the most you can get kind of without the 1,000. But anyway, it goes all the way down. I'm just going to cycle through these really fast so you can see all the different combinations that can come up on top dollar, and there are a lot. Now let's keep on going down. Eventually, one of those times two is going to go out. A lot of different combinations, as you can see. All right, now we're starting to lose some of the times twos. And another thing while we're in the middle of this too, if you see this times two light up first, this one will not light up. So if you're in the bonus round and you see this times two, this one will never light up after that. It always goes from here over to here. It's kind of a random, random note there. <laughs> All right. Anyway, there's a lot of different possibilities and stops, but you can see this up here all the different kind of combinations that you can get. So kind of a cool little look into top dollar and what it looks like on the inside. All right, so another question I get asked a lot is, which is the best top dollar to play? They are not all equal, guys, as you saw. So what is the one that I like to play the most for the best chances? Five line regular top dollar. You notice this one because it is not a double top dollar like this one. It is regular top dollar, but there is five pay lines on the screen. That is the best one to play. Why? The average bonus offers are a little bit higher than you have on regular top dollar and even double top dollar. And also you have a better chance of hitting that thousand credits. It is just the best machine to play. However, it's becoming very difficult to find. If you're in Las Vegas, Aria has a bunch of them. Luxor has some, Cosmo has some, but they are fading fast. And I think I know why. Anyway, guys, pick one of those because if you can find it, you're gonna have the best chances and the best overall outcome. Now, I can't guarantee everything. Top dollar is still a slot machine, but if you really want to better your chances of hitting that glorious thousand credits, that's the one that you want to be playing. All right, guys, that will do it for top dollar. Everything you ever wanted to know about top dollar. We hope we answered a lot of your questions today. Hope you learn a little bit more about the game. This is a fantastic slot machine, and if you can find it in your local casino, 
hunt it out and play it. You'll have a ton of fun with it. It is just an exciting game. It's very unique. It's one of the most unique slot machine themes out there. And most casinos do have it. If your casino doesn't have them, ask them why not. You got to get top dollar. Everybody loves top dollar and they'll make a lot of money off of it too. So it's a win-win for everybody, right? All right, guys. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And then also a, a subscription if you absolutely loved it because we do this kind of stuff all the time. We like taking a deep dive into certain machines and tell you which ones are the best to play in our experience. And this just happens to be one of my favorite games and I wanted to share everything I knew about top dollar in hopes that it'll help you whenever you sit down and play this machine. All right, guys. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and we will see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.